I did my Elvis Presley impression, and I sang Hound Dog. And the girls in the fourth grade started screaming. Billy Joel is an American singer and songwriter. His record sales have topped 150 million worldwide, which has made him one of the best-selling artists in history. He's received 23 Grammy nominations with six Grammy wins and is a member of the Songwriter Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Joel is so popular that his compilation album of Greatest Hits, Greatest Hits Volume 1 and 2, became one of the best-selling albums in the U.S. He received the Kennedy Center Honors in 2013. He was a chorus teacher um, who was probably the best teacher I ever had. He made music history very interesting. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is William Martin Joel, but is best known as Piano Man and Billy Joel. He was born May 9, 1949 in New York City, making him 72 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.66 meters or 5 feet 5 inches tall. He's been awarded numerous honorary doctorates, including from institutions like Fairfield University, Berkeley College of Music, Syracuse University, the Manhattan School of Music, and Stony Brook University. In 1989, Billy sued his former manager, Frank Weber, for $90 million. Weber was his former brother-in-law. The suit claimed that Weber mishandled $30 million of the singer's money and sought $60 million in damages. Weber subsequently filed for bankruptcy. Billy sued his accountants and lawyers, ultimately receiving a reported $8 million settlement. Joel authored the autobiography, The Book of Joel, a memoir, with help from Fred Schuerts. In 1970, Billy tried taking his own life by drinking furniture polish. After recovering at a hospital, he said, I drank furniture polish. It looked tastier than bleach. Joel had never received his high school diploma after not having sufficient credits to graduate in 1967. Instead, 25 years later, he submitted essays to the school board of Hicksville High School to make up his missing credits, and he was awarded his high school diploma at the school's graduation ceremony in 1992. Joel's first wife was Elizabeth Weber Small. Their relationship actually started as an affair, as she was still married to John Small, one of Joel's musical collaborators. Eventually, Joel and Small married in 1973, and they divorced in 1982. He was financially very unsound as he headed into his second marriage to American model Christy Brinkley. They were married from 1985 to 1994 and have a daughter together, Alexa Ray Joel. His third marriage was to Chef Katie Lee from 2004 to 2009. Joel's fourth wife is Alexis Roderick. He and Roderick married in 2015, but they have been together since 2009. Together, they have two daughters, Delia Rose Joel and Remy Ann Joel. Which is difficult to really explain, but it impacts people pretty much the same way all over the world. Everybody has an emotional response. His father was a classical pianist and businessman from Germany. His family fled the Nazis via Switzerland and Cuba before reaching the United States. Joel's mother's family was from Kent, England. His parents met in the late 1930s at a Gilbert and Sullivan performance at the City College of New York. His family moved to Hicksville, Long Island while he was still young. There he grew up with his younger sister, Judy. His parents divorced in 1957, and his father returned to Europe, settling in Austria, where he remarried. Joel's half-brother from his father's side, Alexander Joel, also pursued a career in music and was the chief musical director of the Stats Theater in Brunschweig from 2001 to 2014. At the age of four, Joel began taking piano lessons at the insistence of his mother. Subsequently, he developed a love for and appreciation of classical music that he still feels today. A love of all things musical drove him to join his first band, The Echoes, when he was only 14. He attended Hicksville High School, but ultimately did not graduate because he didn't have sufficient credits. Rather than take summer classes to finish school, he opted to pursue a full-time musical career instead. Joel left the band The Echoes in 1967, then renamed to The Lost Souls and joined the group The Hassles. 
The Hassles were signed to United Artist Records and they released several singles and albums, although none of the releases achieved much traction. Joel and the band's drummer, John Small, left the group in 1969 and formed the duo Attila. Their album was released in July 1970, but their partnership did not last long because Joel had an affair with Small's wife Elizabeth. Joel went solo in 1971 when he signed a deal with record company Family Productions and released his debut solo album, Cold Spring Harbor. Although the album was not a hit, he did manage to attract the attention of Columbia Records and they signed him in 1972. With Columbia, he released the albums Piano Man, Street Life Serenade, and Turnstiles, but it wasn't until his fourth studio album, The Stranger, that he achieved a breakthrough into mainstream popularity. His subsequent albums include 52nd Street, Glass Houses, The Nylon Curtain, An Innocent Man, The Bridge, Stormfront, and River of Dreams. Joel retired from actively recording songs in 1993, although he did release the album Fantasies and Delusions in 2001. In a departure from his usual style and material, the album consists of classical piano compositions and is performed by his longtime friend and pianist, Richard Young Kiju. But he gave me the opportunity later in life to do master classes at colleges, at schools, and um, I've been doing it for years. He's one of the best selling music artists of all time and has sold over 150 million records worldwide. He's owned the Long Island Boat Company as well as a shop in Oyster Bay, Long Island that makes custom retro styled motorcycles. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Billy Joel earned $45 million. In the same period between 2017 and 2019, he earned 50 million. When Billy undergoes a residency, such as his multi-year Madison Square Garden residencies, he can easily earn two to three million dollars per show. His 2019 New Year's Eve show grossed 4.5 million. Between 2014, when the residency began, and the end of 2019, Billy grossed $150 million from his MSG residency. He has a net worth of $225 million. Billy has owned a number of impressive properties around the country, notably in Florida and Long Island. He owns a home in the Long Island town of Sag Harbor. He owns a 14,000 square foot mansion on 15 waterfront acres in Oyster Bay, which he bought in 2002 for $22.5 million. In 2014, he paid just under $12 million for two side-by-side -side properties that cover four acres in Manalapan, Florida. One of the lots was undeveloped, the other featured a nearly 9,000 square foot mansion. He listed the combined compound for sale in 2015 for $29 million. He offered the mansion on its own, without the undeveloped lot, for $19.5 million. He eventually accepted $10.3 million in January 2020. He did not sell the undeveloped lot, which made up around three of the property's four acres. He paid $5.9 million for a New York townhouse. His ex-wife, Katie Lee, received this property in their divorce. She sold it in 2011 for $12.9 million. He sold previous homes to singer Sting, comedian Jerry Seinfeld, and retail executive Mickey Drexler. He's jokingly referred to himself as the realtor to the stars. He owns the following cars and bikes. A 1962 Triumph Tiger, A 1962 Jaguar Mark II, a 1967 Citroen 2CV, A 1978 Harley Davidson XLCR. A 1973 Audi Fox. A 1967 Moto Guzzi V7.